One of the key features that has lacked in subtitle edit is the functionality to burn in subtitles to a video once you're done preparing your subtitles in subtitle edit. I have good news for you because in the latest version of subtitle edit 3.6.2 that was released on August 24th, 2021, it's now possible to burn in subtitles to the video. This is some of the best news I've received this year and I'd like to thank the creators for adding this functionality. The pros for this is that you can now just directly burn in the subtitles to the video, but the downside is you cannot see the settings for the video. That is, if you know the dimensions uh, of the video that you're burning in, uh, you do not have the control to change also the bitrate. Uh, that is some of the few things that you need to know uh, or the downside. And I hope that they can avail this so that people can see what is happening. So uh, if we just look at uh, the website and I'll leave it below, uh, subtitle edit 3.6.2, here we go. It's ready, the highlights. You can now burn in subtitles in video. The best news ever because what my workflow looked like is I'd have to do subtitles in subtitle edit and then burn the subtitles using a program like Handbrake or even VLC really depends on uh, what was working or any other uh, program uh, that can burn in subtitles. Now, this is welcome news. So let me show you how it works and where you can see the option to burn in subtitles to the video. So this is the latest version. And if we check, yes, it's 3.6.2. It's the same here. So what we're going to do, we're going to begin by opening a video, open video, and then we'll just open the video. We have the subtitles too. Let's click on open. And then we'll need to uh, open the subtitles that corresponds to this video or the subtitles that we want to burn to this video. So I'll need to go to file, open and keep the video open. Just keep that. I'll do that. Let's scroll down. And then let's say we go and look for this one. This is the English version. Just click on open. And once I do that, I'll be able to see uh, my subtitles uh, display uh, uh, right here. So uh, they look good. If you want to change anything, you can always change. But my assumption is you've been working on a project and now you want to burn in the subtitles. All you need to do right now is pretty simple. It's just come up to video, scroll down to generate video with burned in subtitles. Pretty awesome. If you click on that, you'll get this particular uh, box or uh, pop up. Generate video with burned in subtitle. We'll generate a video file with burned in subtitles. The font size is 34. Uh, and also note advanced substation alpha is supported. So for the, for example, for this one, we are using as an SRT, uh, which is probably what most people might be using. Uh, but if you wanted to add uh, some styling to this, let's say a background, then you can use uh, advanced substation alpha. But let's just burn in an SRT subtitle file and then let's just click on generate. And once you click on generate, it's going to prompt you uh, to select the folder where you want to save this particular uh, file. And let's uh, just call it new video with band in subtitles. Just click on save. And once you click on save, it's going to start processing uh, this particular video and burning it uh, and burning the subtitles to the video. Now, as I mentioned, it's not possible to see uh, the dimensions of the video, but my assumption is they're trying to match the dimensions of the video. For example, this is 1280 by 720 uh, and it's doing this business pretty fast. Something else I'd like to potentially see is to be able to set the bitrate that I want. Uh, but if they had the option to just match the source so that you don't degrade the video quality as much, or maybe have the option uh, to, uh, for example, downgrade it by half or slightly change the few uh, options available. Uh, something else, if I was working with a longer video, it would be awesome if I'd be able to see how much time is remaining uh, before my video uh, or the subtitles are permanently burned in to the video in subtitle edit. That would be awesome. But now let's uh, click on open the containing folder and then navigate to the video, new video with burned in subtitles. And if I just double click on it. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, 
it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from Free. So basically, the subtitles have been banned in to the video as an SRT, uh, and these are permanent subtitles. Uh, so if I just right click subtitle, you can add a subtitle track, which are uh, the closed captions. Uh, but for this one, we have a permanently banned in subtitle. So that is a new feature in the new uh, subtitle edit version 3.6.2. If you've been looking for a way to ban in subtitles using subtitle edit to your video once you're done with, the, uh, with your workflow, you can now do it right inside this particular program. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you just want to keep watching, then we can try and work with alpha substation styles uh, if that's uh, something that you're into. Uh, so let's say we wanted to add some background to this. Uh, so what I'll do is that I'll just conf I'll convert this to advanced substation alpha. Just click on that. And once we do that, we'll get these styles available and all that. So let's say we change the style, just click on that. And then let's say we want to have an opaque box. So we want to have an opaque box behind uh, this particular subtitle. So let's say we do an opaque box and you'll see it here. And then let's say apply. And once we apply, we'll see a difference here. So depending on the uh, font size that you want to work with, you can work with this, you can work with whatever font size that you want. Yes, uh, it goes down. Just click OK. Just click OK. Now you have subtitles with a background. You can also change uh, the alignment, uh, top center, uh, if that is what you are looking for. So this one is up here. We come down slightly. You can also, let's say, we, we begin this particular first subtitle at the top, alignment, top center. That looks good. The only issue now is potentially uh, the font size. This is too big. It's too intrusive. It is too intrusive uh, or uh, will actually affect the readability or the consumption of the content. Uh, so you may need to bring down, uh, let's say, uh, the font size slightly. Let's say we go to a font size like font size 16. Uh, apply. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So once you're done, the same process, video, generate video with subtitles. And since it supports advanced substation alpha, now you will not see uh, the option to uh, change the font size because uh, the ASS already has the font size that you want to use. So click on generate. Let's say alpha. Let's just call this alpha SSA. And then just click on save. And then it's just going to start uh, burning into the, the video. And we can just close this out before it's done. Here we go. I'm sure it's almost done. But I was saying, as I was saying, it would be awesome if we had uh, like a timer uh, letting us know how long it's going to take. So open containing folder, scroll down, alpha substation. Let's double click on that. With the recent up. So now, uh, basically what has happened is this particular option has lied to us. So it's clear that this is lying to us because once we see the subtitles, they are pretty small. It on the YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to yeah, download. Teeny tiny YouTube up here, transcripts. down here. So Hi, maybe a, a good option would be to leave them as they were. That might give us better results. Uh, so uh, I think maybe, uh, let's say, Let's say we go back to 20. Uh, let's say apply. Okay. So this one is lying to us slightly. Let's just go to video, generate, generate, sample, ASS, save. This is extremely or too tiny and it's going to affect the readability of the subtitles and all that. So. Uh, let's say, uh, let's just give it like a second and we'll check it out. So it's done. And it's this one, sample ASSA. ASSA. With the recent up. Uh, this looks a little bit better. Uh, maybe bump it a little bit 
higher but it would be awesome if whatever we are seeing uh, on uh, the subtitle edit window is what is actually produced uh, especially for the alpha substation uh, style uh, that we have here so that is how you can burn in subtitles to a video using subtitle edit and this particular functionality is a highly welcome uh, feature thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to the creators of subtitle edit for adding this functionality i hope that this video is going to be of value to you if you're creating subtitles and you want to burn in subtitles or if even your clients want subtitles burned into the video thanks for watching my name is david until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching